Hi guys, so today we're gonna get started pretty quickly. We're gonna start off with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer in Eden. Um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take it all over my eyelid and I am going to use a little more than you've seen me use regularly, especially when I use very pigmented, colorful eyeshadows. I wanna make sure that I have my entire lid covered from top to bottom with a good primer. So I'm gonna take a Luxie, not a Luxie, a Real Techniques a deluxe crease brush to blend that primer out and then I'm going to set everything using my max studio fix in C2 I like to do this so that I have a nice smooth surface area to blend things out with We're gonna go in with the ultimate matte 42 color shadow palette by BH cosmetics I love this eyeshadow palette. They are so easy to work with. We are working with these pinks and this purple right here. So we're gonna start off with this shade, then this shade and move on to the purple shade. Using my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe collection, we are going to blend out these shadows. I'm gonna use the first pink shade, which is the lightest and blend it out using a nice big fluffy brush. You wanna cover a lot of area, focusing on your crease, creating something very, creating the shape that we wanna go for. Moving right along with the same eyeshadow color, we're gonna use a smaller dense brush by Crown, and I'm just gonna build the intensity of this eyeshadow. Once you've done that, I use a Soho blending brush to smooth out the edges. Moving right along, going into that darker pink shadow, we're gonna use another one of these brushes to help de- Going in with the purple shade, we're gonna use a smaller brush of this collection and I'm just gonna focus this in the outer corner and in the inner corner. These colors are so pigmented, they are very nice to work with. I didn't have to carve anything out with primer. I just went right in with more shadow and built as I went. So moving right along, we're gonna go into the uh, Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vol Collection. This is Bling Boss. And I'm gonna take this purpley shade that's right here Rockstar, and we are going to use a defining brush to help further define the outer and inner corner. I wanna deepen it up a little more so that we can blend it and create that spotlight. Once you have that, I'm gonna take a stiff flat brush and I'm gonna go back into my Urban Decay Eden Primer, and I'm going to start to carve out the spotlight in the center of my lid. You don't have to look up for this, you're just gonna focus it right on the center of the lid and work it as you go, making sure that you are staying right in the middle. Once you've done that, I'm gonna run my finger right through it just to make sure I smooth everything out and nothing is clumped up on top of my eyelid. Very easy, just make sure it's even and centered. I'm gonna take the Sephora Collection brush and some more of that Rockstar color and I'm going to blend out the edges of the spotlight to make sure everything is nice and smooth. You don't wanna be able to tell where things stop and start when it comes to the spotlight eye. Back into that Jaclyn Hill vault collection, we're gonna take this pink shimmer shade and we are going to pack that on with a brush. I did dampen the brush with some of my Fix Plus to make sure that it's stuck a little better. I like the way that that foiled type of finish looks on the lid. And we are just gonna do small swiping motions to start to get the spotlight eye. In addition to that, I took my Kat Von D Alchemist palette and there was this um, holographic purple tone that I like to use and I'm gonna just put that right in the center. For complexion, I'm using Smashbox Cosmetics 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation and their Moisturizing Primer. I'm applying this with a buffing brush and I love the finish and the coverage of this foundation. A little bit goes a very long way. I'm also gonna use my Morphe Beauty Sponge to push the product into the skin. When you're layering products, especially if they're full coverage, it's nice to just push it in with the beauty sponge. 
Today I'm gonna to use this NARS Matte Concealer and it is another cream product. I'm gonna blend it out using that same Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I have multiple brushes of these, it is amazing. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to place it exactly where I want it, but I am not gonna blend it in, I am not gonna push it in yet. We are still gonna use that same technique of letting the concealer dry up a little before we blend it in. While that is sitting there, I am going to use my Milk Cosmetics uh, Flex Foundation Stick to help me contour my face, bronze it up a little bit. We're gonna blend that in with a BH Cosmetics brush and work it into the skin. Using, now after you've done that, my Morphe Beauty Sponge, I'm just going to push that product, the concealer underneath my eyes, into the skin and then also blend it into the actual contour. To further contour, I'm gonna use the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Beautiful Bronze to help just deepen up a little more. I always like to make sure I'm pushing the product into each other. We're gonna set everything using my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and Fair. I pick it up with my beauty sponge and then I push it onto the actual lid before I press it into my skin. Make sure you're pressing the product, especially in the areas where you build up a lot of oil. Using that same powder, I'm gonna start to carve out and bake while I finish my under eye area and we're gonna do the exact same steps on the bottom as we did to the top. So you're gonna start with the pinks and then you're gonna build the purple, remembering to do the spotlight in the bottom. Once you've got that all done, we are going to then clean off the bakage that we've got going on and I use a BH Cosmetics powder brush that's very dense. To set the contour, we're gonna use the Shade and Light Palette by Kat Von D. That's gonna help us set the contour but also brighten up underneath the eye area. I use their pink and their yellow powders combined. For highlight, I'm pulling out an oldie but a goodie. This is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt and Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I did use the Kat Von D Alchemist palette to use my highlight for the brow bone and the inner corner, but we're gonna keep it pretty golden for the cheekbone. All right guys, moving right along, I'm gonna use another Kilowatt by Fenty Beauty. And I'll have it listed down below. I don't have it right in front of me at this moment, but it's got this perfect pink tone. It's gonna go with our eyeshadow and it's also very reflective. Once you're done with that, we're gonna set with our all nighter setting spray and give yourself a good spritz of this. For lip, I used the Bite Beauty Lip Liner and it was the perfect shade of pink. It's got that blue undertone to it to match with the eyes. And then I went over top of that with a Dior Lippy. It was a holographic lippy, so it really did just work well with all of the colors that we've been using, but I topped it off with the NARS Lip Gloss in the shade Priscilla. This is it for the look today, guys. Thank you so much for watching.